So this is uh, ADU 6002 Digital Learning Environment Assessment 2 Lectures in Lecture Hall by Hermon Bro. So before I start, I would like to quote Max Weber. He said, within the confines of the lecture hall, no other field to exist but plain intellectual integrity. So that's what we talk about lectures in lectures hall. So lecturing in lecture hall have some issues. Okay, the issues in my unit is we generally have more than 100 students. So usually the lectures is conducted in a big hall. Now besides the usual issues, examples boredom and the student loss interest, I would like to find and I would like to highlight 901. Okay. In my unit, the examination questions were problem-based questions. So it requiring understanding of the concept. Um, but in a hall with the big numbers of students, it's hard to determine whether the student understand the concepts or not. So in this particular presentations, I would like to ask how do we know when the student understand the concept? Uh, could we identify the ones who do not understand? Now, according to the prints, we can improve student understanding by implementing the active learning. So the next question will be, how do we conduct active learning in a lecture hall? Now, to implement the active learning in lecture hall, we look at literature and find methods that are used in the teaching process. So we found that Gitlevsky proposed to use a formative assessment and while Bledsoe proposed students to be classified into groups and then we give them problem to be to solve in the hall. Now from our experiment, it's hard to do problem based learning in the class since our time is really limited. So here we focus on the formative assessment. So, how can we use formatting assessment to solve our issues? In this case, is how we use formatting assessment to encourage active learning in the lecture hall. Now, before I start, we need to understand what is formatting assessment. So, I would like to quote Sir Robert Stakes. He said that when the cook tastes the soup, that's formative. But when the guest tastes the soup, that is formative. So with here, I, I hope we are clear about what is formative. Next, I would like to talk about Kahoot. Kahoot is an online brand that offers a free student response platform. In Kahoot, we can create game-based quizzes and survey. And students student can use it with smartphones, tablets, or laptops. So one major thing is that students don't need to register or download the applications, which can waste time and further complicate the use of technology. All of this make the setup times and the process easy and efficient, both important considerations for classroom uh, interactional use. So how is the process? So this is the process. So first what we need to do, so we launch the game for the classroom by going to create.kahoot.it. We signing in, we selecting a particular game or based on the game that we created, and then we click play to open the game. Second, the game uh, homepage will display a game pin uh, similar like what we see here in the slides. And students sign in using different website, which is kahoot.it to access the platform. Now student can choose uh, one device per person or selecting mode to use one device per person to involve in the game so so we have implemented some of uh, in the unit so here we created quizzes with Kahoot that can can be played in the lecture hall this one is one of the examples so I have a couple of one now take this particular uh, question so in this particular questions, students need to understand the concept of binary confections uh, from decimal point. Now what makes Kahoot good to be used as formative assessment is that we can know how many students are understand from certain topic right away. Now for example, these questions. Now from this question, we can get the exact number of students that understand the concept. So from here, I know that 10 
so that we understand the concept when by the other 20 it's not so usually what I do I will stop the game for a while and go back to my lecture slides and explain how do we get to that answer now to know whether how gives a good impact or not to my unit I look at the load, uh, learning outcome attainments now here there are two load cam, uh, learning outcome attainments from 2017 and 2018 as you can see there is a clear improvement uh, from 2017 and 2018 in 2017 the learning outcome one attainment was 60% while in 2018 the attainment was increased to almost 70%. This increment were also found in learn, uh, uh, learning outcomes uh, 2 and 4. In learning outcomes 2, from 50%, it increased to 68% in, in 2018. And in learning uh, outcomes 4, from 72% to 82%. Now, we can ignore learning outcome 3 for now because most of his marking are coming from the lab names. So, to evaluate, we also need to do, we need to ask, what do other researchers say about Kahoot? Okay. Uh, do the other researchers support Kahoot as a teaching tool in learning law? And the answer is yes. Now, according to Ismail and Muhammad, uh, Kahoot is a promising uh, formative assessment tool which is feasible, practical, and makes learning fun and enjoyable. They offset this from experiment uh, they done, they conducted with medical students. Meanwhile, Wang and Libero conducted experiment of lecturing with and without the use of Kahoot. From their observations, they found that Kahoot affect the classroom dynamic in a, a significant positive way, with students are becoming active in them in their observation. Similar observations also is also found by Plum and La Rosa. They found that the gamification of learning increases student engagement by appealing to all of the students, even to the most introvert. For the conclusions, for the conclusions, the use of mobile learning, Kahoot here for example, can be a great tool for, for formative assessment. In our, in our experiment, we found that Kahoot improves student engagement in the lecture hall. We can also get feedback from students whether they understand the concept in the discussions or not, okay, in the form of formative assessment. This will ensure an active learning process in the lecture hall.